welcome to the awakening. I think we're on number six. But today, I wanted to talk about what is close to your heart. In order to negotiate the awakening and have an easier time and have some fun, it's good to be able to tap into your talents and tap into what makes you happy. And I know exactly what makes me happy. I've been writing shows and performing ever since I can remember. <laughs> I produced my first musical when I was 13 years old, growing up in a country where I could hardly make any friends, where I couldn't relax, where I wasn't happy. I produced the musical Cinderella with my classmates and with the school. I went around and I cast it and uh, played the part of Cinderella. <laughs> my sister played the fairy godmother and I played the accordion. I played all the songs on the accordion, composed all the songs and uh, wrote the whole thing. And so it's always been a passion of mine to produce shows, to write them, to act, to sing, to be on the stage. And so today I've had an incredible day. And the reason I had an incredible day is because I have been doing what I love. I have been doing what I love. And what I love is working on my musical encounters. So I've been doing what I love today. I managed to get enough people together on Zoom. I managed to cast it. Uh, I managed to get a grant to do the score, to actually get the score done and get the music done which is so exciting because when the lockdown is finished, I'll have a, a proper musical like um, all the big composers out there, like Andrew Lloyd Webber, like Gershwin. <laughs> so I'm happy today. So welcome to the awakening. Now, I'm here to help you navigate from the darkness, from the madness, from the fear that is outside there by finding out what it is that you love doing and finding a way how to do it. So what is it that you love doing? What is it that you love doing? What is it that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning? That really wants you to, to makes you excited and makes you just want to do it, you know, with every passion in your heart. What is it? We always have things like that in our life. Get my hair sticking to the lipstick. <laughs> um, what is it that you love doing and how can you do it in the lockdown? Isn't that the answer? The answer is to find something that you love more than anything, something that makes you jump up the bed in the morning and you can do it in the lockdown. That's the answer as far as I'm concerned. The darkness is all around me. The messages that I'm receiving of fear and panic and so much, so much, and not knowing this lack of certainty in our world. But the minute you start to do what you love, the minute you put your focus on what you love, the minute you're able to tap into it, like I have done, by doing these Zoom workshops with people that want to do this with me, that want to develop the Casper Encounters, that want to be part of it. And we did the script today and a bit of singing and people are committed, they're coming back. It makes you feel alive. And you completely forget about what's going on out there. That's what I call being in 5D, don't you? <laughs> when you're doing what you love, you're in a different dimension. Now, I have always chosen singing. Like when I was a child, I had no friends and my singing and my accordion playing was the most important thing to me because it helped me express myself. And it took me from the, dark, me from the darkness of being a lonely child in a country where I didn't want to be. It took me from the loneliness of not knowing what to do with my life. I was discovered when I was 13 years old. My father took me to an audition uh, with the Children's National Choir, Zadikov. I'd never sung in a choir before. 
I didn't know I could sing. I didn't know I could sing. Um, but my grandmother said, you've got a nice singing voice. So I thought I'd go. Now this choir was the most famous children's choir and, uh, and it was on, they were on TV. They were in the children's festivals. And I thought, wow, imagine if I could get in even to sing with them. And my dad took me to the audition. So I went from the darkness, I went from the loneliness of this little girl that didn't have any friends, the darkness of unhappiness, of wars, of being just really unhappy. And I went to this re uh, rehearsal and I walked in and they were singing, like a bridge over troubled water, 200 children in harmony. I was like in heaven. I love harmonies. I was in heaven. And I thought, wow, imagine if I could sing with them. So after they finished, um, Laszlo Roth, uh, the conductor, gave me an audition. He auditioned me with Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And that was it. I was in. I had three solos, three solos. And as I say, something inside me knew how to go into the light. And I stood there and I performed in front of big audiences with orchestras and we went around the country and all sorts of things and it was absolutely fantastic. Then the darkness came back into my life because we had the war. We had the Yom Kippur War and I couldn't go to, we couldn't go to America because of this. Uh, the whole tour was cancelled because of the war, because of the darkness. And I went back into my shell and I developed an eating disorder and the rest of my teens were just a blog of eating and crying and total unhappiness because so I was in the darkness a lot. I don't remember coming out of that darkness until I actually went into the army. Yes, I had to go in the army for 18 months and I hated it and I got serious depression because I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to tour and entertain the troops, but I was classically trained, so there was no interest. So I went in the army and I got serious depression. I ran away from the Israeli army and I was in pure darkness. And then they took me back and they gave me counseling and they really, really helped me. I must admit, they really helped me. And they gave me a different, they put me in a different position. And that's where I met my friends. I actually started to make friends in the army, three really good friends, and we had so much fun. One of them was a mimic and an actress, and we had so much fun. So it took me from the darkness into the light again, because I had the guts to run away from the Israeli army. You see, in the darkness, I was being assertive and using my courage. I was able to come into the light where they put me in a different space and they put me with these great people who I bonded with and I had a laugh with. So you see, coming from the darkness into the light. So my suggestion to you is, you need to be aware of what's going on in the world. You need to have your sense of uh, intelligence and discernment. You need to be able to make sure that you know um, where you stand in certain issues. And then, but you, you can't do anything. If you can't do anything in that particular situation, you need to find something you can do, okay? I'm all about solutions, as you know. There could be tiny things, tiny things. Like for me, it's to go out and write a musical and bring everyone on board the musical, get them on Zoom and carry on rehearsing and building this musical through the lockdown. The same way as when we went uh, uh, into the shelter, uh, in the war, we used to go into the um, underground shelters and I used to create uh, like fairgrounds in there. I used to have the um, all sorts of things going on like lucky dips. I, I'd arrange all sorts of things in the air raid shelter. I'd bring the accordion in and started playing, bringing the light into the darkness. So this is the awakening, the awakening, the awakening that I want you to think about. How can you bring the light into the darkness? What is it that you can do that makes you happy? That you can bring it into your life at the moment? What can you do with your children? Can you read stories? Can you act things out instead of watching TV and, and just watching what they are telling you to? 
Can you do stuff that makes you happy? Can you do things that make you happy? Do you understand? Um, it's all about finding things that help you get through whatever it is you want to do. So I'm going to pull a card from How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World as we're doing this every day. You can get the cards from me. If you email me at lauren and moving on tv.uk. You can get the cards from the Positivity Center in Ashton Lane. And they've also got an online shop. So you, um, I don't know what the address is at the moment, but once I do, I'll put it on here. And you can contact me as well. Um, I'll put everything down below. So let's shuffle the cards and let's see what we come up with. Because today is about finding what you love, finding what makes you tick. You may just want to go into nature. You know, when I was in the darkness of um, the Saddam Hussein war, I was in Australia and the news was lying all the time and telling me that Israel was finished. That's what the news does, by the way. A lot of the time they tell lies. And I was really scared and I rang up my father. One night I rang up my family and they said, what are you talking about? Don't wake us up. We're laughing at how the rockets are missing all the time. So they weren't the least bit bothered. So I thought, you know what? I can't do anything about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the passion of meditation for 10 day silent retreat. Yes, Lauren went into a 10 day silent retreat. I did in the Blue Mountains in Australia. Absolutely stunning. I thought, well, there's no radio. You can't talk to anyone. You don't get any information about what's going on in the madness. Similar to today. <laughs> Similar to what's going on today, I'm in such a good space, I'm in 5D. I better not go on and check anything because I don't want to be dragged down. So I'm, as I'm saying, I went into Vipassana for 10 days, I went into a retreat. And when I came out, it was all over. <laughs> that was it, the war was over, all the stuff with Kuwait was finished, it was all over. So I did the right thing by going into be passionate meditation for 10 days. Right. She's card. Be or you. Oh my God. It, amaz it amazes me how these cards are so synchronistic. What were we talking about? Finding your uniqueness, finding your passion, finding what you want to do through the lockdown. What makes you want to jump up in the day and have fun and be happy? Be your unique self. <laughs> Card 20, in order to feel good in life, you have to find a way to be yourself. This can be lots of things. It means something different to you than it does to me. You are an amazing, beautiful, unique soul with passion, dreams, and wants. That is okay, really it is to be you. These cards are there to push your boundaries. If you chose this one, then it's clearly giving you a message to find out who you are. You may have got a little lost in the last few years, being a parent, a friend, a sibling. So today, I would like you to think about who you are. What is your uniqueness? What do you bring into the world? The world is a tapestry where we all fit in and contribute. With our uniqueness, we become part of the woven beauty. So who are you and how do you fit uniquely into this world? Who are you and how do you fit uniquely into this world? That's the question you need to ask yourself today. Who am I and how do I fit uniquely into this world? Okay? Be your unique self. These cards are magic. <laughs> I channeled them while I was in the wheelchair. I channeled them after I came out of the therapeutic community. Be your unique self. It's really interesting, isn't it? How we were talking about how to create your uniqueness and be your unique self. And we chose the card which tells us to be our unique selves. How to stay sane in a crazy world cards. It's got messages for every single day. I channeled them, they're a bit like oracle cards life coaching cards, little messages on them to help you through the day. 
So in order to feel good in life, you have to find a way to be yourself. You're amazing, you're beautiful. You have got a little loss in the last few years. You've got a bit lost in the last few years. So today I would like you to think about who you really are, okay? We all fit into the world like a tapestry, like a unique jigsaw. Where do you fit? This is your time to think about it. If you can't go to work, if you're at home, think about your real dreams. You know, it doesn't take money. I'll be totally honest with you. When I did the sound and music, I had 100 pounds. That's all I had, 100 pounds. That's all I had. I gave a deposit to the theater. This is going back a few years when things were different with theaters. And I hope that when we come out of the lockdown, things will be very different where they will barter or they will um, share box office splits. But then uh, I had 100 pounds. I gave the theater 100 pounds. I brought on a huge cast. I sold out every single seat in the theater. I have never done anything from a lot of money because I've never had it. I've always just been able to manage. But that has never stopped me from being my unique self. And as you know, I go for grants. And the only reason I'm doing encounters is because Red Kite gave me a grant and local council gave me a grant. And that enabled me to start working properly on this musical to bring an incredible talent that I've got and more talent that I'm looking for. Not from my money, but from the grants. So anyone can do it. If you don't know how to do it, then contact me, I'll teach you. <laughs> we can barter, we can find a way around it. Be your unique self. There is no excuse not to do what you love. No excuse at all. I just get on with it. There's fear. Sometimes there's fear and panic and there's a lot of tension in this body, as you can see from the arthritis in my neck. If anyone's got any suggestions, I'd love it. <laughs> um, but it doesn't stop me. And it didn't stop me going on Zoom today and creating an amazing workshop with fun and laughter and great people and talent and scenes and great singers that we brought on. Be your unique self, it doesn't take money. And if you don't know how to do it, contact me and I will teach you because you have to set very basic steps. You just have to get on with it. It's a bit like now, I was given a lottery grant to work on the musical score of my musical. I haven't got a clue where to start. I can do a little bit, of the piano uh, score, which I've done, but it needs a proper score. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get on with it. I'm going to choose the first number. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to see what needs changing in it with Sibelius, because I taught myself. You can teach yourself everything on the internet. Sibelius costs about 20 pounds a month if you're a musician. Nothing, 20 pounds. I know it's a lot of money if you don't have it, but you can get it. It's like, you know, what can you give up to have 20 pounds a month to do what you love? Okay, that's how I see it. I don't do anything else. <laughs> I don't buy expensive makeup. I don't have facelifts. Thank God I don't need to. Um, I don't have face, I do everything myself, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't use um, complicated uh, things on my hair. I just use, Sometimes I, use, but I just uh, have an egg with honey, not honey, what am I talking about? An egg with olive oil, <laughs> and I just um, whisk it up and I use it on my hair, and then I use coconut oil. Be your unique self. That's it. That's what I wanted to say today. Find a way to be your unique self. Use the cards again, be your unique self. And of course, the miracles today also is a beautiful message. That you can use. Forgiveness offers everything I want. So stop being angry with yourself. A lot of the time we don't forgive ourselves. We're very angry with ourselves. And that holds us back in life. If you're angry with yourself, it's going to hold you back in life. But this is the time now to release all your anger towards yourself and towards others. Because you cannot move on until you've done that. 
Okay, so forgiveness is very important at the moment as well to help you tap into your uniqueness because if you don't forgive, you're going to be on a lower vibration and you won't know what you want to do with your life because you won't get the light bulbs, you won't get the creativity because you won't be in 5D, you'll be stuck in 5, you won't be in 5D, you'll be in 3D. And also I'm calling you to really assert yourself now, assert yourself. If you want to say something to people, really say it. Like today I contacted my sister and I said to her, we've had very little contact in the last year, few years, a few years. I said, I'd like to have a message between her and me at least once a week during the lockdown. And she agreed. She said, okay, we'll WhatsApp. So you've got to do that. You've got to think, what is making you unhappy? Write it down. Be your unique self. Write it down. And then check, what can I do? What can I do? It's always about what you can do. There's no point focusing on what you can't do. What you can't do, you have to ask for help or you have to join with others. The situations are going on in our world that we can't do anything at the moment because quite honestly, we don't really know what's going on. So we need to be our unique selves in order to discover what's going on. And at some point, it will hopefully be clear to us in some way. And then we'll be able to make decisions. Do you understand? So we're living in a lot of uncertainty. But in order to navigate this, be your unique self. Shine. Shine and master your life. That's another group I've got on Facebook. You know, don't let the body stop you from doing what you want. I've got, I, I fell yesterday. And thank God I didn't hurt my knee. But I did kind of twist something around my leg. Nowhere near the injury. So it's not serious. But... It doesn't feel too good. I've got dreadful <laughs> bit of fibro, a bit all these issues that we get, you know. But it's not going to stop me. Nothing will stop me. I will be my unique self. And if I can sell that to you, then you will go into 5D. You will celebrate your life. You'll feel good. And you will be able to feel this new awakening, this new energy, this new commitment, this new sense of really, really living, not just existing, but living. I mean, guys, yesterday I went to you in the valley and the buttercups, nature is, is shining. Nature is living, nature is beautiful. So there you go, be your unique self, forgive, and find out what makes you want to jump up in the morning. You can always contact me at Lauren at moving on TV.uk, 07437 if you want to do your own show, to host your own show and be your unique self, then contact me because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to do your own shows. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to sign off there. Hope you enjoy this program. Please share. Please subscribe. Love you lots. And, and watch the other ones. And welcome to the awakening. Namaste. I love you.